Hello YouTube and welcome to Allie's Wonderland Creations. I am Alice Serafin and I'm Stampin' Up! Demonstrator in the United States. Welcome to my channel. So I am currently working on Paper Pumpkin Alternative Video number three. I knew I missed something. This is June's kit <laughs> for 2023. Oh my goodness. Alrighty. So um, I do have a sample to show you. So I'm going to... Um, show you this and then I'll show you some of the paper pumpkin stuff so this is the card you can open it like that thinking of you open it like this this card came to be because I made a mistake um, when cutting for a fun fold and I'm like how can I use this and this is what I came up with I really think it's a beautiful little card so let me show you this is the instruction sheet flyer. It shows you what cards you could make if you do the kit as it is um, meant for. But it's also, don't forget, this is meant for you to step outside of your box and create your own projects. That is what I do with my kits. I love doing my own thing. So I have a little flyer for July's kit, which is this. So I'm going to show you real quick what came in the kit. So you got a spot of Knight of Navy. Um, the card bases were uh, Knight of Navy, this print, which is in the country um, side in DSP. This print, which is in the countryside in DSP, I think, or it's very similar. It's just in the blue family and these envelopes. So those were the card bases and the envelopes. Then the ephemera or punch outs, whatever you want to call it, uh, were these. So this one, this one is blank, white on the inside. This is a frame. There's this one here. There's these banners. This in Daffodil Delight. These little vases um, that have the print on them. These white vases in these dark blue ones. This card, which I was trying to do something else, but it was inspired by this vase. This vase is what I originally was trying to do. So I am going to move these. Let me get these off my desk and move these aside. Hopefully... Um, actually, let me put them in my box. Otherwise, my little pieces will go absolutely everywhere. Oh, and I just realized I need two of the leaves. So we're going to do a bit of die cutting today. I do apologize. I meant to do that beforehand. Okay, those can go in there. and These can just sit here. All right, so let's go over what you're going to need. And then we'll get to work. So I've written it all out. So you need a card base. Um, I'm using white cardstock. Any white cardstock you have will work. Five and a half by eight and a half scored at four and a quarter. Then we're going to turn it. We're going to do this together. You know what? Why don't we just do it right now, right? We're going to cut the white. Oh, no. Sorry. Um, make a cut on the front flap from the crease at the two and three quarters inch mark and I lost the bone folder where are you are you kidding me it it's just under something okay so there five and a half oh should have done a little better when I pre-scored this let's fold it there now it's better okay so what am I talking about as far as cutting this goes? So we already scored it. What we're going to do is open this up. We're going to be cutting. So you're going to put one end up at two and three quarters. Bring it here. You are going to cut up to the four and a quarter. And on this cutter, there is this indention right here that my scissors is going into. That is going to line up with our four and a quarter mark. So I'll keep going, keep going, keep going right there. Oh, perfect. So that gives us our flaps that go flop, flop. So I even had an extra card just in case we messed up. So next, 
that's how you cut your card base. So let's go back to this. Next, we need two pieces. We gotta, we're gonna emboss these on TV as they are. <coughs> on TV, on YouTube. Oh, you guys, bear with me, please. So you need to cut two at two and five eighths by four and an eighth. And we're going to emboss with this beautiful 3D um, embossing folder. It's one of these stripes and splatters. We're using the stripes. And you know what? Since we're doing this all like, let's do it at the moment. Let's go ahead and do it. So let me grab, we're going to do some die cutting. I know I normally have this stuff done, but today is one of them days. So to do a 3D embossing folder with this little mini machine, I wrote 3D on the dark gray plate. It does state insert embossing folder. No, 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 no. Where does it say? It does say 3D on here. Oh, right here. See? 3D. Trust me, I tried it with the other one. Not pretty. So, you can actually do two pieces of white cardstock together. We're going to do that just to save time. I'm going to put them both in my thing. I'm going to show you. A lot of people say they have trouble with this. Offset your plates. See how that is not perfectly there? I'm going to put my gray one in. Now I'm going to put them, insert them like so. So they're not even, they're just offset a bit. And I'm telling you, it goes right through. Do, 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 do. And pop it goes and we are all done. And I'm gonna show you, we got both of them done and they're both beautiful. So those we need, we just finished them. I'm going to set that aside. We're going to need that mini machine in a minute. So next step on our sheet. So cut. Oh, here we go. We're going to go ahead and just do this follow the directions. So um, cut one, two by four. I forgot to put down that this is a Knight of Navy. So let's get Miss Kitty. Um, this is Knight of of navy and we're gonna punch with the elegant new elegant tag topper punch whatever it is called so i'm gonna stick it in pop i'm gonna stick it in the other way and pop and there's all there is to that and that's all over my desk now <laughs> ah, okay come on over to the side so that's two by four. We punched it. So next we needed a piece of DSP. This is part of the countryside in DSP. I think we're going to use this side for this card. So it's up to you which side, but it needs to be one and seven eighths by two and a half. And it snuggles in there beautifully. So let's go ahead and put this down. I got the balmy blue from the card from that side, but I'm going to be just a little different. X marks the spot. So we're going to snuggle that in its little place, its rightful place, as it was cut to be in there. So that piece is now done. Um, okay. Before we do any more die cutting, we need to do what I call fletching. And um, so die cut one vase in Knight of Navy. Ta da! not going to show you this, but here's the vase. This was the add-on. Here's my in Knight of Navy. Okay. So we already have that done. I cut one vase in Knight of Navy, two leaves in balmy blue, which magic TV. We already have them done. We also need two in white, which we're going to do. Um, stamp the flower in misty moonlight and die cut. That's that little tiny flower. And I did it on white. And I'm going to show you how to line this up. Now, even with my little machine. Okay. So, on this flower, you'll see it has this one that kind of sticks out differently than the others. And on this die... I'm not sure if that's going to be able to see it, but let's put it on this one. On this die, there looks to be a squarish rectangle piece right here. 
that is where you line this up at. So let's see. See, here's that funky petal. You put that one on there. Now I secure it with a bit of washi tape, like so, and I die cut. So that's all there was to that. We did this, but we do need uh, two of those leaves, and we'll get to that in a minute. Um, we're going to use that, handmade hugs, border punch. Okay, we're going to need, let's just go ahead and do it. We need two of these in white, and I'm going to go ahead and I am going to stack these one here and I'm going to try to cut both of these at one time through the little machine and I think it will do it just fine so little machine at the ready now to die cut you need plate number one which is the white plate and your two clear plates which are, which are plates two and you need two of those so we're going to see if we can cut two leaves at once so that we are not actually I really only need one because I changed my mind on the inside hmm. it's okay so once again I'm going to offset my plates so I have them staggered one two and three I'm gonna start and voila so so easy put that down and we have two leaves, one and two, though now I only need one because I decided to stamp on the inside and not put the die cut. So I'm going to put that leaf there, that, that still has use, put my plates to the side. All right, next on our agenda, so we have those done. Two, leave, two leaves in balmy blue, two leaves in white, stamp flower in misty moonlight in die cut, and it's on white. Um, craft white with a Q-tip. I missed the fletching of the thing. So let's get to the fletching. I don't know why I am thought sending hugs inside stamp. I was sure I thought I put it down here. Oh, here it is. Fletch with Knight of Navy ink. What I mean by that. I was like, I knew I had it in there. Before you can fletch it, though, you need to glue your two embossing folder pieces down. Now, it does have a raised edge, so I'm just putting my glue on the raised pieces. And yes, I'm going to put a little bit of glue on each of those pieces. So this one is going down here, white on white, but then we're gonna give it a little speckling, fletching, something I used to do when I toll painted many moons ago. It was one of my favorite things to do. Yes, it's messing. That's why I have a blue finger. Um, but you could use gloves if you are so inclined. Me, it doesn't bother me at all. I'm out here to create, to play, to enjoy. So one each on those opening panels. See, da-da, da-da, very, very cool. Now, I used a manila folder before. I have this plastic case. It's to hold up papers. This is what I'm going to use. So I'm gonna get that like so. And what you need to do this is I have a little block. I added just a tiny drop of Knight of Navy. You need a toothbrush. The older the toothbrush, the better. This is just one from the dollar store. And you need a little bit of water. And I'm gonna spray very carefully. Because, ooh, that's a lot of water. More than I wanted. But I'm gonna squish this toothbrush around. And I'm gonna take my finger and I am just going to brush, oh, so love this, brush along the bristles with my finger. I'm going to open this up and do the inside. So open it up. I do this quite a bit. It just gives it a little kiss of goodness. So I'm going to set that aside 
Give me a second. I'm going to use some hand sanitizer on my hands so I don't get blue ink everywhere, which I still might. So I'm going to set this aside. Now that that's done, oh, my cap is in there. Need that for my water. All right, so we got the fletching done. Let's see what's next on our list. Fletch with Knight of Navy die cut craft white with Q-tip. Hmm. What do I mean? Well, you know, I love my Q-tips right now. So I have just a little Q-tip, my craft white ink. I'm going to take my vase. Where's my sample I could show you? I can't find the sample. It's disappeared, guys. Oh, my goodness gracious. <coughs> it's probably in... Is it? Nope, it's not under there. All right, so I'm going to take my Q-tip, ink it up on the side. Now I'm going to take it and rub it across, almost like a glazing on a piece of pottery. Over the edges, I like this rustic... Look, I'm going almost like a paintbrush, brush strokes across the top in the very bottom, and then on the edge. Kind of like a sponge dauber, but you can get in little areas. Oh, I like that a lot. Okay, so there's my little face. Um, we are going to need this again. I have this little wooden dowel that I keep out here and it's been inked. It's been just about everything. If you have, I'm going to forget what it's called. Oh, I do actually have one. It's in my, what is this thing called? Hold on guys. I even forget that I have this. Your Simply Scored Tool. This little thingy majigger. We're going to use this. A stylus. I knew I had one, I just couldn't remember where I had it. So, I'm going to put one of each of those away. I'll use them on the next card. I am going to layer the balmy blue and the white together by just giving it a little kiss of glue. Like so. Okay. And this one is going to get attached just barely here at the crook of the stem. And I'm going to use that really funky little leaf, as I call it, to place those together. Now, what am I going to do with this? I'm going to show you. I'm going to take my stylus, the tiny one, dip it in my ink, and I'm going to make little dots. I am going to start up here here, here, used to do this crafting too. I'm just dotting my vase. Like I said before, the original one I used, you can get it bigger if you want. I'm using the teeny end. I'm just adding ever so little bit and don't forget the edges. If you don't have a stylus, I think that was a uh, skewer for, uh... oh, it was, it was a meat skewer. Um, I've had it for years. I use it all the time for all kinds of stuff. So that is what we're doing on our little vase in the craft white. Now we are going to glue our little flowers and leaves to our vase. Ta -da! Oh, I found my card. Oh my goodness. Can you guys see it? It was sitting here the whole time. This is much darker. This is much lighter. So this piece now is going to get, um, I want it glued down. So I'm going to take my glue bottle and put quite a bit of glue on here because it's got all those ridges and I want it to adhere. So we're going to place this down right about there. 
go over it really well. And our beautiful vase is going to go up on dimensionals. Let's get rid of that. Put that there. I, where is my pokey tool? Love, love, love my pokey tool. I don't think it needs more than that. That will work. It's not like... So our vase goes in the center. Oh, yes. That's really not the center, is it? Oh, my grandson has this little toy that makes... It's a little gun that lights up and it goes... It's driving me bonkers. Hopefully y'all don't hear that. Okay, so what's next? We are bringing in... Um, thinking of you from layering leaves, this border outlined from Handmade Hugs. Handmade Wishes has a border too. It has two of them. And this card is going to also have the sentiment sending hugs in stuff from the Handmade Hugs stamp set. And I already have those mounted. So let's see. Um, here we go. Thinking of you our border, our sending hugs and stuff, and we're gonna do all of that in Night of Navy, along with the vase for the inside. So I'm gonna move my card. Let's put it over here. Hopefully you guys can still see it. The vase, this vase from the um, kit is gonna go on the inside. Now, this is part of an envelope that I'm hoping I can get one more punch out of and I really think I can Looks like it oh yes so next we need to stamp sending hugs and stuff I've got to hopefully see beautiful I'm not gonna force it down I'm just letting it sit for a minute Oh my goodness, it could have used a little bit more force on the end, but that's okay. So while this is drying, let's open up our first flap and stamp thinking of you. Now the inside of our car is, card is all fletched with that gorgeous night of navy paint. Paint, ink, sorry. Give it a second to sit in. Oh, beautiful. Now we need to open her up and we're going to stamp this face down here at the bottom. Really should have my stamp in pierce mats. It's currently under something. So let me grab a piece of fun foam that I keep just in case I lose it. But the vase is sometimes needs a little help. So here we go. We're going to hopefully get it nice and smooshed down there and get that ink on there. It's a solid, almost a complete solid image, and sometimes those are hard to stamp. Just going to give it a minute to set. Oh, yes. Nailed it. So happy. So I'm going to set this aside, um, Night of Navy aside, and let's bring in the handmade tag punch. Look at how pretty that is. And this is just on the envelope. Where's my, oh, my other piece. I still have bits on there I could use. Um, don't get rid of it so fast. I mean, there's stuff on there. So what I have here is just a piece of cream colored um, cardstock because you know this is really, really flimsy. This envelope paper. So I just put a piece of scrap cream colored cardstock and I'm going to glue that straight over it. And what I did on the back is I looped some Night of Navy um, Baker's Twine, loop it around, use the handy dandy scotch tape. It was quite trying for me. So I'm like, oh no, I'm doing this beforehand. May not have done everything beforehand, but that I surely did. Oh, not too bad on the top. Time. So this is just going straight on there to give it a little bit of strength. Bring our card back in, guys. And we are so almost there. We need some more. I need to get some dimensionals out. The minis are not going to cut it. Let's see. 
What do we have in here? Uh, anything that's open? Oh, there's one. Let's do that. All right, so this is, uh, I know why I quit using this one. Because they just were not coming off the way they should. Three is what's going to go on here. Two. And three. I might need to put one. Maybe I'll stick a mini on there. Really didn't want to. Maybe another little piece of Honda Dande Scotch tape. Let's bring Mr. Froggy out. I had a really difficult time. As you can tell by the back of it. <laughs> But no one's going to see it. It's going to look just fine. So this is going up like so. Now, I put some rhinestones on here. Do I want to go Knight of Navy dots? Because they gave us these beautiful... Oh, yeah. Why, why even bother to ask, right? So we're going to put one in the center there. And then we're going to go one here and one up here. Oh, most definitely. So that's my card, everybody. I'm going to put it in one of the envelopes um, from the kit, which are right here. So... Let me open it up this way so you get a look. Oh, well, thing you miss. Oh, well. You'll have to see this one. I did the same vase. Look at all that. That's why that was a sample. <laughs> and I messed it up. So there you have it. And the envelope to boot. Outside, inside. It has a double opening. Easy little card. Um, stamping up gives you beautiful stuff to work with. So I thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you like it enough to leave a comment and let me know what you think of my mistake and what I turned it into. I would love to know. Um, I want to sincerely thank each and every one of you for subscribing and watching and even a deeper, how do I say it? I have such deep gratitude for each and every one of you who comment because it is truly the highlight of my days and I appreciate it so much. I can't tell you how much. Um, it's just this, I, I can't, I can't express it. I, I don't know how to put it into words, uh, what your comments give back to me. So thank you so, so very much. And I hope you come back and visit me in my wonderland. Goodbye now.